Hello everybody, Brady the Honest Woodcutter here, uh, bringing you another wood-filled video. Um, today I've been out, I didn't cut any wood today, and uh, kind of trying to do some things around home. So I decided I, I'd made a, a truck bed of green wood, and I uh, decided I'd just put it in our woodshed. And it was kind of a mess, so I've been out here straightening up my woodshed, and I thought I'd show you all what I got going on here. We got a... A boiler here made by WD Furnaces here in local company here. Number two of any he ever built. Uh, my woodshed is was built out of scrap material, some hickory posts, some used tin, and on the other side I got new tin. Uh, the new tin and uh, about a day's labor is all I have in this whole thing. I got uh, about $300 I think in my woodshed. It'll hold, uh, if you stack it high enough, about five cords, which is about enough to get through the majority of winter. Um, so anyway, this is my this is my personal supply as of now. This is some green wood that I just stacked in here. And uh, dry wood down here. This is some wood out here that I actually traded for. I took some wood to a lady, to a customer. And somebody has sold her this wood. She specifically asked for 16-inch wood. And somebody brought her this. And uh, as you can see, some of them are 20 inches, 20 plus. Split big. She couldn't even get them in her stove. And so I told her, I said, well, I'll tell you what. I said, I'm just that kind of guy. I'll help you out. So I traded her a face cord of wood for this. I figured this is more like a face cord and a third. So I actually came out ahead. But she came out on quality because mine was all oak and this has got uh, a random mix of about seven different kinds of wood in it. But I told her it's fine for my wood furnace. You know, it doesn't really matter. So I traded that for it from her. And uh, like I said, I got all this dry wood down here. Uh, I'm trying to get this right here used up. This here, a lot of this here will probably end up being... I'll probably end up just using that to have a little fire some night because a lot of that's getting pretty cruddy. Uh, it wasn't very good when I put it in here. You can see a lot of it's, it's got a lot of pith to it. Um, I mean, I could burn it. It's fine. But, you know, I like to sit out and have a little fire too and enjoy it. So that's kind of stuff I burn when I do that. So anyway, once I get this used down some more, I'm going to go ahead and start filling this back up. Uh, it'll hold five rows. Yeah, five rows. And each row is approximately a cord or just under. The back row is longer because it actually goes all the way past the furnace to almost to the end i'll take you around here and show you the end well here i'll go this way so yeah this is that wood that i traded for that's the wood i traded for and then this back here this bit wood here was green last year uh so it'll be ready to burn this year and then this down here is green wood a green wood that i just put in here pretty good stack it looks a lot higher at this end than it does at that end I'm aware of that but the ground also slopes so I try to keep keep take that into account I try not to make it more than about head high on me because it's just too hard to get it down anyway uh, I get a lot of comments on my woodshed with the hip repose you know I had them I cut them off the property I thought, you know what, that'll make a doggone good building, and it's working. It's been here uh, three years now, and it's the bark's still tied on it. I imagine I'll get a good, at least ten good years out of them before I have to start replacing any of these poles. So I'm good with that, you know, can't beat the cost. And so anyway, that's my woodshed. I even, I got it electrified, so I can come out here at night. I got lights. I even got a bug zapper. How more redneck can you get, right? Anyway, that's my woodshed and my boiler system. Heats the house. It also heats our water. So it does run all year round. As you can see, it's summer and it's got smoke coming out of it. So, so anyway, that's my little woodshed. Uh, maybe not the best one anybody's ever built, but like I said, for the price, you can't beat it. It works for me. So, uh, anyway, I'm just trying to make some videos for y'all until I can get out and make some good videos. Uh, 
thought you'd find this entertaining and, and interesting. And uh, until next time, take care, and uh, we'll see you soon.